Schemas are the magic of Eberron in recorded form. Dating back to the time of giants some 10,000 years ago, schemas have been used to pass magical knowledge through the generations. An individual schema might be a few sigils carved into a stone tablet, or an elaborate scripted presentation on the torso of a Warforged Titan. In most cases, an individual schema represents a specific magical building block. These blocks can be combined into magical patterns, storing power ranging from simple cantrips to world-shaking destruction. A House Kenneth Mage Rite might use a simple pattern to quickly create hundreds of continual flame stones for the use in street lamps, even as the agents of the Emerald Claw may seek to build a pattern that could replicate the destruction of Sire. Some schemas are representations of spells or infusions, which, in knowledgeable hands, could be used to replicate the casting of those spells. Such items are commonly called minor schemas. A minor schema stores a single spell or an infusion that a mildly experienced spellcaster could use. If created the right way, these spells sometimes require costly material components, and perhaps requires a wizard or sorcerer to be extremely focused. With these sort of items so readily available around the world, and their general creation not so difficult to make, why is it that individuals seek the lost schemas of the past? Through my research in the Kordberg Library, I've come to believe that these individual pieces, when placed together, create blueprints of some kind. Though they can be used individually to cast a variety of spells and spell-like abilities, together I believe they harness a power that the world hasn't seen before. Let's take a look at what we know so far. The patterns and the schemas originate in Zendrick and with House Kanath. House Kanath guards their creation secrets with great care. Very few ever get to use them. Creation patterns ease in the creation of items, magical and otherwise, and shorten the process as well. Additionally, patterns are formed from a collection of schemas, or one pattern contains several of them. Lastly, the patterns are intricately tied to the use and creation of Warforged, but their uses are far broader. Other theories believe that they are tied into the Draconic Prophecy, that the use of a pattern requires the utterance of the proper word. This in turn is why House Kenneth keeps it as much as a secret as possible, as knowledge of words could turn a number of political neutrals into enemies. They continue to seek out more words and schemas from the forgotten ruins of Zendrick, and some even venture into the darkness of Kai Bear for other sources of power. While we may never know or fully understand the power and the use of the schemas, researchers like myself and House Kenneth will continue to search for them, uncover their secrets, and translate the magic that they hold within. With the research I have currently, I plan to visit House Kenneth tomorrow, in hopes that Lady Eladrina Kenneth can help shed light on a recent discovery that I believe is right beneath the city streets of Sharn, an old and lost Kenneth foundry.